Hello, I'm here to answer some questions about Colombian education. Question number one, what does it mean to be bilingual in Colombia? To be bilingual in Colombia is to be able to communicate in English. It's such a way that we move the country into universal communication processes, into the global economy and into a culture, cultural openness with internationally comparable standards. Being bi bilingual in a global world is essential. Question number two, what could be the ideal scenario for a bilingual program in Colombia to be successful? The ideal scenario in Colombia is the one that has all the resources in every learning environment. The schools, children, living conditions, national English scenario. The schools, they have to, they need to have all the capacity and the tool for a great learning process. Some schools in Colombia do not have electricity power or water supply. Children, they have to be studying, not working. 25% of students, I'm sorry, of children in Colombia work. So we need to change that reality. Living conditions, to be equal in both rural and urban areas to have the possibility of attending schools and the quality of education in the same level. But the most important thing that we need to have now it's qualified teachers. We need experts, teachers for each area. Where that each student, depending on that context and its, bio, uh, its biology, have his or her own system of learning. One of the students can learn using the right or using the left hemisphere, learning more through hearing or visual. So we have to focus on these students and not on these students. Question number four. What are the main critics to the national bilingual 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 program? Um, we have researched several critics about national program. So here there are some critics. Few hours to teach in English are set. There is a shortage of material on and qualified teachers. Classes are numerous and in general, there are a few opportunities to use English in real communication. Another critique is that this program promotes stratification of languages. It is because including or excluding students and teachers to divide them according to test results. And another big critique about this is that even teachers with foreign language level C2 Faced with overcrowded classrooms, lack of resources, restrictions of hours on hours of classes, and enormous diversity of students. There are students, all kind of students in a classroom here in any uh, in any school in Colombia. And the last question is: How is globalization connected to education and language policy in Colombia? Globalization is a historical phenomenon that refers to three simultaneous processes, migration spreads of ideas, and increased coordination and interdependence. Glo globalizations are all the challenges which open the, door, the doors of quality and innovation of, of a country. As the public service in Colombia is found insufficient and unprepared to this challenge, the only way to be part of the phenomenon is that education sector becomes an opportunity for business. So, to belong to the globalization, Colombia have, um, have need to try to align their policies to make international standards, which are given or this multinational organization are the one that give us that 
policies. So we need to try to align these ones. That's it. Thank you. Cinco. Cortalo. <laughs>